Hello folks, this is the ST11 welder. I call it the Stinger. It has a very small one liter gas tank on it, an eight horsepower Tecumseh engine that I bought for, I think it was something like $30 and it needed a new carburetor I ordered from China. And uh, still doesn't quite run right. Chinese carburetors aren't the greatest, but then again, neither were the originals. So for those of you with a good eye, you may have noticed that this has three alternators on it. So this one is from some kind of Volkswagen, I believe it's an 80 amp alternator. Its job is simply to keep this little battery charged and uh, also power the field coils of the other two alternators. This one is from a 98 Toyota Camry and it has no regulator in it. These, uh, these two wires here are connected straight to the fields. And same thing for this one. This is from a 1992 Mazda Protégé and it too has the regulator cut out and directly hot wired to the field windings, the, the brushes. So a quick recap, this alternator produces 12 volts, regulated 12, 14, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, charges that battery as well as powers the field windings in this unregulated alternator and this unregulated alternator, which output about 70 volts-ish. And then they go through this set of blue, these, this blue set of jumper cables, which connects to the ground clamp and the stinger. The output has a 5 microfarad capacitor connected, or, well, it was connected, I don't know where the wiring went. Ah, oh, fuck, that wasn't supposed to happen. Got sidetracked there. 5 microfarad capacitor smooths out the output so that when you make and break the arc, the voltage doesn't spike to ridiculous levels and damage the voltage regulators within the two alternators. So here we have our hastily thrown together control panel, which I'm surprised hasn't broken off yet. So this switch here controls the power to the field of that alternator there. And this switch controls the power to, of the field to this alternator and that alternator there. And we have a little rheostat. I can't remember what the value of this was. It was on Amazon. Maybe I'll link it if anyone actually cares. Uh, but yeah, this controls the amount of current that can go to the field of this alternator and that alternator to fine tune your welding arc. I don't know how many amps these two output. This is an 80 amp, and this is a 65 amp maybe, maybe a 70 amp, I don't remember. Together they should output like, um... Oh, and this little voltmeter that fell apart just now, uh, this was supposed to tell me how much power was in the battery. So it would stay around 12 volts, and then when the engine was running it would go up to like 14 so you'd know that there was power going through. Um... One day, some of my loose wires kind of shorted out over here and blew the meter up. So that no longer works, and I don't know what happened here. Over to the engine aspect. This is a an 8 horsepower Tecumseh HM80. It is 315 cc's. It is a flathead engine, if you haven't noticed already. And uh, it's a piece of shit. Just like all Tecumseh engines. So... You fix the carburetor, you fix the valve adjustment, you change the points, and what happens next? This stupid thing breaks. It won't stay up, it's gone all limp. So that's, uh, that's annoying, and the new part is like 60 bucks where I live, fuck that. And yes, I'm aware that the machine is made of wood, and that goes against everything metal fabricators stand for. But it's all I had lying around, and I do realize that wood is flammable and arcs are hot. Uh, and also this carburetor tends to dump its fuel all over all the time onto this flammable wood which also doesn't help But what can you do? Eventually, I'm gonna be replacing these parts with metal slowly over time If I see that this thing is viable, I might just scrap this piece of junk Hey look at that! I actually got the piece of shit to start and it only took the entire can of quick start